in the middle and I'll just start over. Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bead Company and I'm going to show you how to do a bezel set cab and we're going to be doing it on a um, on Lacy Stiff Stuff along with Ultra Suede. I am using size 11 Delicas. I'm going to use Caramel Ceylon and Matte Opaque Sea Foam and I'm using a green homomorphite cab here. And what I've done to start out with is I've cut the Lacy Stiff Stuff down a little bit and traced my cabochon. We're going to be doing the same thing later on with the Ultra Suede. We're going to be tracing our project, but for now the Ultra Suede can be put aside. I also have .006 Wildfire Beading Thread, and I have it on a size 10 English Beading Needle. I'm going to take my cabochon off my stiff stuff, and to begin, I'm going to take my thread and needle, which I have a knot on the end of, and I'm going to sew right along that line that I've made and I'm going to sew three of my delicas at a time. So I've sewn up through the back of the stiff stuff. Three delicas on. I let them drop down exactly in place where they need to go. And then I'm going to continue to sew along that line. So I push them exactly where they need to go right after those beads. I'm going to sew down through the stiff stuff, out the bottom. And those beads will lay right along my line. I'm going to take my thread then right below that initial knot and sew up through the back of the stiff stuff again. And you do want your thread to stay on the inner portion of the circle. You don't want it to go to the outer portion because this will be covered by the cab. So if it is inside a little bit, it's better rather than outside. I'm going to sew back through those original three beads. And I found three is kind of the magic number for this. Four gets a little long and two's a little short and one's just a pain. So I had now sewed through those original three beads and now I'm going to put three more beads on and continue that same process. Lining them up against the line, taking my needle right along the line, through to the back, and then I'm going to take my needle and bring it back through my project right below where that first thread came back. And that's going to bring it below those three beads. I'm going to continue this the whole way around my cab, sewing through those three beads that I just put on and then adding three more beads at a time. This is going to make a nice line the whole way along your cabochon. So I've gone through the whole outer perimeter of the stiff stuff and right along that line with my thread and my needle. And what I've done is made sure when I'm done and getting towards the end that I have an even count of beads on. So right here I have 52 beads on my 25 by 18 millimeter cab. The 52 beads after I add them, what I do is go through the original first three beads that I put on after I put on my last three. And then I'm going to have my thread coming out the top. At this point I'm going to put my cab on and just make sure that it fits in there right nice and tight. So when I'm looking at it, it just gets a nice little fit right inside that. At this point, if you want to, you're going to go ahead and you can take glue, glue right along the back of your cab, and you can glue it onto your stiff stuff. You won't see the glue, so you might as well. Um, so I'm going to take some glue, glue on my stiff, glue my cab onto my stiff stuff, and then I will show you how to add more seed beads and how to build up your peyote. Now I've glued my cab onto my stiff stuff. And what I want to do when I'm gluing, something that I forgot to mention is you don't want to over glue your cabochon. What's going to happen is the glue is going to seep out the back of the stiff stuff as well as the glue can close up the holes on your seed beads. If you over glue, it's going to seep into those holes. So now I'm getting ready to add my second layer of seed beads. Some people at this point will cut off the rest of their stiff stuff. And what you're going to do is turn it over the back and cut it as close as you can around the back of those stitches. I usually like to have something else to hold on to while I'm working on it. So I keep the stiff stuff on until I'm done doing the next couple rows. I'm going to start the second row with the Ceylon color and that is going to give you a little bit of a different look. And all this is is even count peyote. I'm going to skip the next bead in line and I'm going to pick up one of my seafoam green beads and pull that through 
and I'm going to continue going the whole way along the line with peyote. If you're not positive how to do peyote, you can check out our other videos and that will show you kind of the process of doing it. But basically, I am skipping one bead, picking up the next, and those cream colored beads are going to lay at every other station. So I pick up a bead, I sew through after one skipped bead. And that's going to start my peyote. I'm going to do this the whole way along the side of my cabochon. Eventually, those beads are going to sit right up nice next to the cap. Right now, I'm not going to worry about it uh, too much because it's not going to happen until I really start to pull in and use um, a different a size 15 bead. So I'm going to continue doing this peyote row the whole way around my cabochon. So now that I've gone the whole way around doing peyote, I'm going to take my last bead to put on of my saline color. I'm going through the first original turquoise bead there, that seafoam color. And then what I'm going to do to step up is sew through the first one of the cream colored Ceylon bead that I put on. Now I'm going to continue with my peyote. And as I'm doing this peyote row, I am going to pull a little bit tighter. So these beads that were on the outside are going to start pushing up and laying right along my cabochon. So go ahead and put some 11 Delicas on at this point and sew through all of the cream colored ones that are sitting up. So I've continued adding rows to my peyote and right now I am five rows high. I did another row of the um, light caramel, then I did a row of the sea foam. I'm going to then pick up my 15s. The amount of rows that you need is dependent on the curvature of your cab. So a cab that doesn't sit very high, you may only need three rows. A cab that sits really high, you may need seven or eight rows, depending on kind of how high you're going. What I'm gonna do now is pull the Delicas in by using a smaller bead. So it's sitting right along the side of my cab. And what I'm gonna do is start picking up 15 OC beads. I forgot to mention these in the beginning of the video because um, I never think about them until the end when we actually have to pull everything in. And I'm using this pewter color, or the gunmetal color, and I'm just going to continue my peyote just like I was for the previous rows. And what this is going to do is as you use a smaller bead, it's going to pull in the whole peyote stitch so that it lays closer to the inside of your cap. Once I'm done going around with my 15 OC beads, what I'm going to do is sew my thread through my peyote row so that way I come back on the back of my bead. This back here, this all this stitching area, is going to be covered up in the back with my ultra suede so you won't see it. So what I'm going to do is poke through the seed beads and just do it in a line that I'm going from one down through the other. I don't want to see any of my thread, so I've gone on a diagonal through three beads and then I'm going to take that thread again through these next two beads in the diagonal row, come out right on the end and take my needle and tuck it back so that it's coming out behind my stiff stuff. If I wanted to and you don't want to glue, um, you especially would definitely need to, I could have done another row of my 15s. Because it's glued, honestly, I didn't really have even have to do one row, but I like the look of it. Now that I'm on the back of my stiff stuff, what I'm gonna do is tie knots and hold this in place. And my thread has gotten really short. Um, if you do need to add more thread, this is an easy project to do so because you can tie a knot and then you can go through, take your needle through the back, so basically did opposite that I did here. Take your needle through the back of the stiff stuff, up the side, and up some of your beads. And I'm just going to pull that nice and tight, get some two nice knots on there. And then I'm gonna get ready to cut. When I cut to get it off the whole part of the stiff stuff, I do wanna use a really sharp, sharp scissors. Um, so we're gonna get ready to do our cutting. So I have my sharp scissors now and I'm ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut right along the edge of the stiff stuff. I'm pulling the stiff stuff back with the front part of the scissors and I'm cutting as close as I can around that. And I'm doing it from the back just so I make sure that I don't cut any of my seams and any of my stitches. If you cut your stitches, you're in bad shape and you're gonna have to start the project over again. And sometimes it's really hard to get that um, cab off of the stiff stuff if you've glued it. Now that I have my first initial cut, you can still see a bunch of the stiff stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nice sharp scissors and I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to cut a lot closer 
and cut a lot of that stiff stuff off. And that's gonna take care of doing a lot of my edging. And that way I'm not gonna see the stiff stuff as I'm working on it. Here's where when I said that you wanted to make sure that your stitches stay inside that original line, this is why. Because you don't want to see any of the stiff stuff. So I'm gonna continue to cut around. And then what I'm gonna do is my traced outline of my cab that is on my ultra suede, I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna get ready to glue and to back the ultra suede onto the stiff stuff. At that time also, I'll show you how I kinda end and hide the side with an additional row of peyote. And if you want to, you can embellish. I have some Strofsky crystals here that I'm going to embellish the outside with and I'll show you how to do that. So now that I have the stiff stuff cut and all of my edges cut down, um, I do want to apply my ultra suede. The ultra suede, you do wanna make sure that it is a little bit bigger than your cap. So when I draw my line, I cut to the outside of my original cab line. That's gonna take care of that extra little that you see. At this point, you can glue this on and you can end it. You will see a tiny bit of the stiff stuff, but that can be just a nice quick ending. If you're a perfectionist, what you're gonna do is you're going to add some thread, so back through the peyote rows after you glue this on, and you're just gonna do two more rows of peyote beads, usually two or one, and that's gonna hide the whole seaming and the side. You're gonna to have to end your thread then on the side as well as that for your project. You can take additional beads and kind of make that a little embellished. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on, and then I'm gonna show you how I attach the extra rows of the peyote to hide the edges. So now what I've done is I've gone through and done two more rows of my peyote. I did one in the seafoam color and then another one in that caramel color. And I'm gonna take my glue now and kind of lift up the edges of my, my ultra suede. If you need to, sometimes you may need to kind of glue or cut the ultra suede just to make sure that it still fits in. I'm gonna glue my ultra suede down in place and then I'm gonna tie off my thread if I don't wanna embellish anymore. And then you're gonna be done your cab here. What I'm gonna do is embellish my cab a little bit. So I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm gonna sew back through my project, again on a diagonal so that way I don't see the thread coming out. And that's gonna put me right on the side of my project. At this point, if I want to, I can decorate my cab. I can put um, a bale on the cab, which the bales that I prefer are just peyote bales. So you can just do a strip of peyote separately and then sew it together on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up one of my 15 OC beads, then one of my crystals and one of my 15 OC beads. And I'm gonna skip here and sew right along this edge. I'm gonna skip over two of my beads pick up a third bead in that row of the peyote and pull tight. That's gonna put that crystal right on the side of my cab. And I'm gonna continue this kind of the whole way around the bottom section. You can do it the whole way around the top, whole way around the bottom, it's up to you. You just wanna make sure that you're, you maintain yourself on the same row of the peyote the whole time. And that is going to get you that embellishment. So you can see me just kind of Picking up, sewing through. You can also see all the scrap around my around my uh, mat here of cutting off things and kind of making things work. And I'm gonna continue that the whole way around my cab and that's gonna give me just an extra little decoration on, on this cabochon to kind of pull it together, make it a little bit more decorated and add a little bit more flair to it. And then when I get to the point that I wanna put on a bale, like I said, I'm gonna do a separate peyote strip and put that on. And you can watch another peyote video to figure out how to do that. Um, you can use even just a little piece of wire. 24 gauge will go right through the top of those beads right here. You can go right along the top and put that through and make it hang down wire-wise. But that is how you're gonna do the bead embroidery and the set cab. So thanks so much for watching. I know it's a long video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Like us on Facebook, watch our other videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can know when we come out with all the good stuff for you guys to watch.